Hi, it's Mommy Bell again, and now we're on our second episode of uh, how to set up your own Minecraft Realms server. Um, we had an awful lot of problems the last uh, or our first episode because it was we were only about 36 hours into Minecraft Realms may, being made available in Canada. I believe that's partly the problem. Um, but things are running a lot more smoothly now, and even Amibel has her own server, which I'm going to show you in a few minutes. Um, <laughs> so, uh, once again, Minecraft Realms is um, $13 a month. That's $13 US for us Canadians, which works out to a little bit more than $15 uh, at this point. And we also... Um, one thing I wanted to mention was that there are now uh, there has now been an upgrade to 177 as of today and okay here we go um, now this is what my screen looks like mommy bells realm is here and shows that I am that the server is open um, now this is what a new invitation would look like and this is uh, Emmy Bell's invitation to me uh, to go play on her server and I'll show you that in a second uh, but now it would appear that we have the option to add even more uh, mini games which is really cool now they're saying that it will temporarily replace our world um, with a mini game which is fine uh, because they do automatically back up our world whatever world it was that you started for your child be it creative or survival or whatever it's still going to be there now this is neat because we actually have five new options to choose from and no longer just Herobrine's Return but um, a bunch of other fun things so I don't actually know what the presets need to be on this so you'll have to consider whether or not um, it's going to be okay to turn well this one is a no PVP um, uh, mini map, uh, but as for the other ones, you'll just need to check. Walls is a PvP map. Um, I'm not going to select one of those at the moment because we're going to head back to the world that I created and um, in game now. Um, it's an awful lot easier. Uh, remember, I was crashing whenever I actually hit um, within the command console or our chat console whenever I typed in help. Now let's see what happens. There we go. Now we've got our showing help um, page one out of five. Now these are all of the operator commands or OP commands that your child will have access to. So it's going to be really important to let them understand that they should not be sharing these privileges with their friends. Um, in fact, they should very carefully consider when they switch uh, back and forth between creative and survival. Um, just selecting one or the other would be ideal and um, not, it'll be important for them not to cave into their friends' needs or uh, wants. Um, and that way you can run a fairly a fair game, a very fair game. So um, you'll see that the, the children are going to start acquiring um, items and resources and they'll start building their hovels like I did here, you know, furnace and crafting table and um, set their spawn. I am actually at my spawn here. Um, and from here they can expand on their game. I would actually suggest that ooh, okay, there's a skeleton there, that what your child does is um, they can find a place that works for them in terms of a spawn area. That is the area that that their friends are going to be introduced to once they start the game. And let's just get rid of this dude here. Well, that's a little bit laggy. Interesting. Goodbye. Yeah, that, that that's laggy. Very laggy. Uh, yeah. Okay. It is rather laggy. There we go. Ooh, achievement get. Oh. Okay. Well, we don't want a spider either. This game is in survival mode in normal, so uh, there will be mobs. You can set it to peaceful. And the way that you can do that actually. 
I'm going to show you all the game rules here, um, which is the first item of importance. You want keep inventory on, so you need to type into your console or your chat game rule, keep inventory true. Uh, and that way when somebody dies in the game, they don't actually lose everything that is a part of their inventory here because it takes them so it can take a little while to acquire those items. Uh, you don't need to do this in creative. Uh, the other important thing to do is turn fire tick to false because you don't want fire to spread. Um, if there's a lightning strike or if somebody sets off uh, or lights light sets fire to something with flint and steel you don't want that fire to spread because it can it can burn down houses mind you mine is just a a dirt hobble right now which was uh, out of necessity I had to build that because this is survival after all now the other important game rule you need to set right off the bat is turn mob griefing to false and this will um, prevent creepers from taking blocks or destroying blocks when they blow up. It will also prevent endermen from walking around with blocks and stealing random blocks or things, items. Um, and what else do we need to do here? The other important thing to do... Oh, I think that's it. Yes, those are the three. Um, you can scroll through the help menu by just typing help one, two, three, four, five. Give me page two, please. Help two. There we go. Um, and the most of these are rather self explanatory. Um, Set world spawn is the other important one. So once you find an area, or your child finds an area that they think will be a great place to build a spawn, you need to set world spawn so that all of the kids appear in that particular area. Um, great. All right. So those that is probably the most crucial thing, the most critical thing you need to do once you start um, in on a survival world. And a couple other things that I should mention is that um, I already had said that your child shouldn't actually give um, OP or operator permissions to anybody else. Um, in fact, it would be really important that they sort of monitor themselves and not, not um, switch back and forth between game modes too frequently. Um, and then the other really important thing is you don't want your child to um, give out or allow anyone else to access their account. So their Minecraft account and their password, that is their username, or I should say their email address, login, and their password should be kept in confidence. Um, oop, oh, hang on one second. Well, I need a minima. Okay, let's just climb into safety here and sleep if we can. Of course they won't let us sleep because of course there's a skeleton outside so we're gonna have to address this fellow and then as soon as we here we go alright keep the door closed I always tell the kids make sure you close the door behind you because you don't want any mobs running in after you now um, this will actually automatically set it to day and then we don't have to worry about those mobs anymore all right, so some of the other things I wanted to mention was um, once you set up um, a spawn area, the children will have to make sure that they set up signs that outline rules for play on their server. And I would like to show you now what Emmy Bell has done. Um, so I'm going to accept her invitation and it will ask me once again to agree to the, let me just see if it does the, 
Okay, I've accepted her invitation. And I'll go back, and there we are. Her her um, Minecraft Realm server shows up now. Emmy Bell's Equestrian Adventure. Horses are awesome. Perfect. Now, um, <clears throat> I believe what she's done is she has set up a spawn area um, or an introductory area for players so that when they join, let's see if we spawn in the right place. There we go. Look at that. Fabulous. Wow. Let's see if she's on. Yep. Oh, King Awesome is on. Well, hello, and King Awesome. Um, so she already has invited a few people. There we go. And here she has... Uh, she is focusing on a theme, which is her horses. Uh, welcome to Bell server. Here we're focusing on horses. Yep, rules. So it's really going to be important that your child outlines the rules for play on <clears throat> on um, their servers and that they ask their friends to stick to it. Oh, beautiful fountain. And it looks like we have a... Yes, I am. There we go. Oh, that's Cricket. Oh, Cricket is actually the name of a horse that was um, one of Emmy Bell's first real-life riding horses. And she passed away, yeah, at the wonderfully old age of 30, I believe. And um, so once you your child has done this, then I would suggest that they invite their friends to the server. It looks like we've spawned in a, um, what biome is this? Uh, Mega Tuga Hills, right. Yeah, this is one of the new biomes in 1.7. Okay, so I guess King Awesome is going to come on over to say hi and maybe show me his build. I would really like to see what he has done. Um, now, the great thing about uh, servers is they're up 24-7. Oh, I have no item. Oh, I have no... Okay, nothing to protect myself here. I need to find a safe place. Oh... I have no place to run to, and I may die. Hmm. This is going to be tricky. I'm just going to run, even though it is would appear to be daytime. So, and are they still coming after me? Yep. Hmm. Um, I know that King Awesome was going to meet me at spawn, so I need to get back there in a roundabout way. There we go. Oh, creeper, lovely. Uh, you've got mob griefing off, right? Ooh, dear. Yes, she does. Great. Now, even with mob griefing off, um, when a creeper... Oh, interesting. There's a zombie in the fountain. Uh, when a creeper blows up, it can take passive mobs with them. So um, you've got to be careful... Um, you can't necessarily hang around your animals if there are creepers about because oh there he is great hey oh super he's helping me out here phew thanks no don't hit me oh there's no pvp on here king awesome oh dear oh dear no PvP, I think. Okay, pretty please. Ah. Yeah, I made that rule. Yeah, oh, I, I, I believe there's no PvP. Yeah, because it can kind of be oh, very frustrating. Anyways, I believe this is all we need to go over at the moment. Um, I and Mommy Bill's going to hang out with King Awesome for a few minutes. Uh, but that's it for this. Um, second session. Um, we are on Emmy Bell's Minecraft Realms server that she has just set up with a wonderful spawn, all of her rules, and um, ah, yes. Yes. Alright, Mommy Bell signing off. Thanks for watching, guys.